and welcome to another unboxing video. Over the last few years, while working on Visuino, I had the chance to unbox devices and boards from many different countries. However, being Bulgarian originally myself, as some of you may know, I have never had chance to unbox a board made in Bulgaria. So I'm quite happy that finally I have the chance to show you the first unboxing video of Bulgarian made board. In this case it happens to be ESP32 POE board made by Olimax. It is strange that I have not had chance to work with Olimax as it appears that they have manufactured quite a considerable number of Arduino compatible boards. Many of them based on ESP32 but also including microchip boards, chipkit based and many others. So without further ado let's open the board and take the first look. I'm curious to see how this board compares to boards that I have received from other countries. The board is packaged in this original box and let me quickly grab the scissors cut the back and see what's inside. So looks pretty decent quality, quite good quality actually. I do not see any visible flux or any other issues with the soldering. So it appears the good folks in Bulgaria have done very very good job indeed and can be proud of what they have made. Of course I'll have to reserve my opinion until I properly test the board but from visual inspection it appears to be very good quality. So good job folks. There is also pin header included which optionally I can solder here. So the board is ESP32 based. As you know ESP32 has the capability of both working as Wi-Fi network controller as well as Ethernet connected. All it needs is external transducer. What the folks at Olimax have done in addition to that they have also added very affordable, I must say, PoE solution to the board. So this is extremely affordable PoE board for any maker, allowing you to power the board externally here from the Ethernet with power injector. The board also has their own UX universal extension connector which allows you to connect other modules. It supports serial, SPI, I2C and of course GPIO type of connections and is roughly similar, albeit a little bit more flexible than the groove connectors from Seeds Studio. The groove connectors have the capability of supporting only I2C serial or GPIO. This one also is capable of supporting SPI. I'll have to play a little bit more and maybe add in this window some special mapping for this connector as I'm very happy to support the efforts of uh, these Bulgarian folks. Now I'm going back to the computer and we'll more or less right away start testing with the board and start mapping it in Visuino 
And with good luck, the next release of Izuino will include the board. One thing which I forgot to mention, the board also appears, let me confirm that, yes, the board appears to have micro SD. So the board has Ethernet connector, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth of course, micro SD, and he has the UX connector here. So pretty capable board. Let's see, is there a battery option? I'm really not sure about this connector here. I'll have to take a look at uh, what is this connector for. It's possible that it may have also battery management, but I'm not sure about that. Oh yes, and one more feature it has. It has a button that is specifically connected to GPIO. So you have one extra button functionality built on the board. Now that I have taken a look at the board itself, I went online and started my research. First of all, I was quite impressed by the sheer number of boards and devices that Olimax has produced over the years. The company has long history and I advise you to visit them and take a look at all of their products. The device is priced at 17.95 euros which for its functionality is quite good price. Indeed, standalone PoE modules to be used with other boards are more expensive according to my experience. So this price for fully functional PoE device plus Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and everything else is quite a good one. Second, I was quite impressed by the detailed and good documentation that came with the device. As with any documentation is not absolutely perfect, but it's as close to perfection as I have seen from any vendor other fruit included. It comes with detailed and very nice GPIO pin map, full schematic that came in very handy once when I started mapping the device in Visuino, detailed user manual showing all the major features of the device. the GPIO map and everything else, including the UX connector. And finally, a fair number of code examples, starting with simple, very, very simple, well, relatively so, Ethernet, and micro SD card example, all the way to full repository of examples. And as you can see, there is a fair number of them, many of them using external modules as well as implementing MQTT, RS485, and everything in between. To go briefly over what really is on the device, here are the listed features. First of all, as we all already know, it has ESP32, it comes with a couple of versions listed here. Obviously it has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, it has the 100 megabit Ethernet interface and it has the PoE support. There is also, by the way, a version of the device with voltage isolation. It's slightly more expensive. You can find it here in the list of devices. I happen to have the slightly cheaper non-isolated version. It has LiPo battery charger. So yes, it has LiPo battery power management, as I suspected. The UX connector, one user button, the reset button naturally, the micro USB for programming, and micro SD card. 
using all this information I was able to map the device in Visuino and now I will show you how the support looks like the device is properly listed now under the Olimax category which I hope will grow in the future as ESP32 device and as you can see all the functionality is available including the user button all pins are properly mapped and by the way something that was not listed in the functionality in the features but I was able to figure out from the documentation and the schematic pin 39 is used to detect external power and pin 35 optionally by connecting a small jumper and indeed the jumper is very small and difficult to notice on the documentation but the jumper is right here located at right this location and it's indeed labeled with arrow pointing to it but it is a minuscule jumper so if you connect this jumper you will be able to monitor the battery level since I have not connected the jumper I have not tested the functionality but that being said I have properly labeled pin 35 as a battery level monitoring pin and we have of course the micro SD the Ethernet and Bluetooth and as mentioned before the button so the device is fully mapped and ready to use in Visuino. So that's it. Back to uh, coding on Visuino. And uh, if you like the video, please remember to subscribe and uh, click the like. It will help me with the channel and help support some of the work on Visuino and the mapping of the devices. And stay tuned. The next version of Visuino is really uh, just around the corner. I just posted beta a few days ago in the MIUI community as well as in the Visuino Developers Facebook group. So if you want to try the latest beta, go there and check it. And the official version should come literally in a matter of a few more days. And hopefully we'll include this board as well as some other nice surprises which I do not want to spoil right at the moment. So it will be up for you to discover them when it is released. That's it for this video. Hope you liked it and hope you have a great day. Goodbye everyone. Take care.